Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and QuickBooks. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose QuickBooks from the available list of applications. I will name the service as Get QuickBooks. I'll then choose the service named Query. Let me connect to the QuickBooks. At this point, we have two options to connect either Sandbox or Production. I will choose a Sandbox to connect. QuickBooks is connected now. Here, we can query from the entities, reports and custom. Now I will choose entities. We have many objects from the list. I will choose an account object which gets the account details from the QuickBooks. And then select the required fields from the fields list. Additionally, I'll set the max results to 20, limiting the accounts to 20. For the destination settings, I'll select Query Account Sheet tab to present all the values from QuickBooks. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon and turn on or off the Include Header and Clear Sheet before getting the accounts. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the chosen fields from the list are effectively brought from the QuickBooks and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create QuickBooks accounts from Google Sheets. Let's make another service and name it as QuickBooks Post Service for creating accounts from Google Sheets. I will choose Post as the service type. Then I will select an account from the object list. At this point, I have the choice to use an existing template or set up the process manually. For now, I'll opt for the template. Applying the template will automatically populate sample data to the spreadsheet and it will establish automatic mapping using the template. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the drop down. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the QuickBooks accounts. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field except for mandatory fields. Feel free to use this sample template data and make any necessary updates. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the QuickBooks. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on post now, which will create the accounts in QuickBooks.
After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns. You can also see the links to the created QuickBooks accounts. Clicking on these links will allow us to view the newly created accounts. Now, let's see how to synchronize the data between Google Sheets and QuickBooks. Let's prepare a new service named QuickBooks Sync. This synchronizes the accounts between Google Sheets and QuickBooks. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The synchronized service allows users to automatically synchronize the accounts between Google Sheets and QuickBooks. I'll choose the object as account from the list and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. To ensure efficiency, I'll also set the max results to 20, restricting to only 20 QuickBooks accounts. The synchronization process requires the synchronized keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in QuickBooks. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. It is essential to note that these keys are mandatory for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and QuickBooks for the same accounts, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either QuickBooks Wins or Google Sheet Wins to choose which data to keep. In the QuickBooks Wins scenario, the most recent data from QuickBooks will overwrite and update the corresponding accounts in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet Wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in QuickBooks. First, let me choose Google Sheet Wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync QuickBooks Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the accounts for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, Your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from QuickBooks first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. I will select the Get Now option, which will fetch the accounts from QuickBooks. If you already have accounts data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the accounts. I will update the account name to ISSI Bank from Accounts Receivable, Debtors. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear, with synchronization details. Number of new records found in QuickBooks. Total records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the QuickBooks from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, Sync Now and Close. I will opt for the Sync Now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the QuickBooks. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. 
Once the synchronization is successful, the status column in Google Sheets will be depicted as synced successfully and the result column will be depicted as data updated successfully. Now refresh the QuickBooks Accounts page, we can see the updated account as ISSI Bank. Now, let me choose QuickBooks Wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync QuickBooks Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the execution control panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheet to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the accounts for us. I will click on the Get Now button to get the QuickBooks accounts. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet. In the meantime, I will create new accounts in the QuickBooks. After creating a new account, I will click the Execute button. Upon execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear with the synchronization details. How many new records are found in QuickBooks? Total number of records that are ready to synchronize from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the Google Sheet from the total records? Along with these details, I will also be asked, are you okay to synchronize? I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. The status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the accounts. Newly updated accounts will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. Also, the new accounts will be fetched from the QuickBooks. Until this point, we observed the synchronization of QuickBooks originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to C5 and proceed with the synchronization process. Let's execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If there are no records found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the accounts for us. I will click on the Get Now button to get the QuickBooks accounts. If you already have account data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? I will click on the sync now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of QuickBooks. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your QuickBooks data right within Google Sheets.
experience the future of organization and data synergy with the sheet director thanks for watching the video